Okay. So at a really high level, if I said, to, from Kathy's experience, now I might be asking Kathy or I might be asking one of you guys to define it for Kathy, what goals is she trying to accomplish as a cashier? Big ticket items, what's she trying to do? Yep, check people out or make sales, something like that. Yep, you write whatever you want. Check people out. So she's trying to check out people. What else is she doing? Process returns. Okay, process returns. What else? Right, people make mistakes. That's different in different countries, dude. There are countries in the world where this is not an option. <laughs> you buy it, it's yours, baby. Yeah. So sell, sell, sell. Oops, someone doesn't want, like what they want. What's a variation on this? Pretty significant. I don't want to return it. I'd like to... Yeah, process and exchange. What happens in the morning? So she shows up in the morning and she has to like log in. Yep, I'm gonna put a verb on the front of this one. Dude. Yep, log in. Okay, and log out. Some notion like that. So shows up in the morning, logs in, sell, 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 process some return, process some exchanges, and at some point she logs out at the end of the day. Okay, let's just take one of these. He says, hoping the rest of them don't come off the whiteboard. And break it out a little bit. So um, the, uh, the mile wide, inch deep one, I'm going to choose one. And if we, if we remember our, our um, charter, and we had a date on the charter, I would say, well, what are some of the guides in the charter? Are we trying to go wide across this whole thing, or do we want to go deep because we need to get the store up and running? So let's take the basic things you have to do to sell stuff. What is she, what is she, so you walk up with your things, you toss them down in front of Kathy, what does she do? Scan. Scans items, yep. Then what? Scan, scan, scan. Yep, she calculates the total. What else? Takes payment. Takes payment. It's hard to be the scribe. Moment of, moment of love for the scribe, calculate total. <laughs> it is. It's really hard to be the scribe. Takes payment. Then what? Yep, what did, what did you forget? Prince receipt. Prince receipt, right? Okay, so here's a good example. That's a nice basic sale. That's what I always try and get people to do. Some people go, they deep end right here. This is an easy category to deep end on. So, yep, so you could say take cash, take credit. Yeah, yeah. take cash, take credit. Um, while he's writing that, though, you guys missed something in here. Because Kathy doesn't do it. And I'll give you a hint. 30 years ago, she did. Okay. Cost, nope. Used to, be in, used to be a yellow button on an old cash register with a tax. tax. Kathy used to calculate tax. Kathy used to look that up. Now the system does it for her. So where does that go? I usually put it in here. I usually put it up here, like calculate tax. I might put it as a different color because it's something the system does. I might put it like this. Um, it's a significant piece of the process. It's one of the reasons why I think it's not a bad idea to have someone in the room that knows the systems. Because you got to do this. You don't get to run away from it. Kathy doesn't do any of it. In fact, you do not want your part-time employee calculating your tax for you. Yeah, that's a little bit spooky. You know, I think you shouldn't pay any tax. You seem like a good dude. Yeah. <laughs> so cash, credit, um, what happens when the scanner's broken? Let's back up and go through it now. Yeah, you have key in. Key in, or it doesn't even have to be broken, it just might not scan. Yep. So a lot of times what happens is there'll be a category like this, and people will say, the subject matter expert will say, wow, well, those are kind of the same thing. And we'll get rid of this one and write a yellow one that says scan items because we're trying to kind of say core tasks, subtasks. And then we'll create another one at that orange core level which says add items because that's a good way to kind of discover like what's the key process. You know, maybe we create an orange one that says add item. <clears throat> Yeah, or a base process, something that kind of a lot of times is unnamed. This is the same thing happens that I see with story tests, is people will say, um, I mean, because how many, he doesn't have to write these, but we could go into this one pretty deep. Cash, credit, gift card, gift card 
Coupons are a form of payment. All of those. We could take this one and we could bust it up how? Visa. Amex. Yep, MasterCard. <clears throat> it's a... Uh, Amex is not as loved worldwide as Amex would like to have you believe. A lot of places outside of the United States, they don't want your Amex. They, in fact, MasterCard is wildly popular, much more popular outside of the States than it is inside the States. Um, what about this one? What are some variations that could go under printer receipt? Basic receipt or gift receipt? So that's... Add the survey. Add the obnoxious survey, right, yeah. So now we could go, now there's an area where we could go, right? There's, there's a couple things we could do. So add a survey starts a whole different topic. If you guys were retail people, you would say, what about upsells? What about cross-sells? What about warranties? Where does that go in? We could add it in here, or we could say, wow, warranties is a pretty big deal, and we really want to have that. So we're going to have another one up at this level that says sell warranties. Because it's a unique thing that she does. It's a big profit item in the retail space. There's nothing trivial about the profit and warranties. So this is a tool now. Um, big hand for the scribe. This, this is a simple example. But I've done this process on some very complex things where I felt like people were very jammed up and we were able to visualize the user experience fast.